guys and welcome to this week's studio vlog. Today I'm going to be doing something really exciting. I'm going to be sublimating on socks. Um, you can't really see the sock there because it's white but um, I've put this sock jig um, into the sock. This is to make sure the sock is all stretched out and flat um, so it makes it a better area to print on and make sure you can see all the design um, when you're actually wearing it. I don't really know what I'm doing with this. Um, I've had a look at some tutorials on YouTube to try and figure it out um, but I do know that my socks are probably quite different to other people's sublimated socks in their sublimation videos so I'm kind of going to be experimenting a little bit I think with the um, like the temperature and how long I need to press on the socks. So hopefully I can kind of get that figured out. I think I need to do it the same amount as I do a t-shirt or other things like that. Not too sure as they are slightly thicker and they aren't, they are a different material. So not too sure, um, but I am excited to see how they come out. So I am printing this uh, little repeating pattern I've just made. This is the same pattern I used to make my uh, dog a personalized phone case. This is my little dogs, so Katie and Jeff. Um, so I thought I could do commissions of these two of people's um, dogs. So I'm also going to be filming a TikTok too while I make this. I'm so happy with this. It's so cute. I just gotta print the other side now um, and then I'll take it off and see what it looks like. It's kind of hot to hold right now, um, but I'm really happy with it. So I'm super happy with how the print has come out. I've now done both sides. The one problem I have with it is here, which I was kind of expecting. You can see a seam there, which doesn't look that noticeable now, but when you have it on, you can actually see that because that goes down the middle of your ankle. Um, so I do need to make a few changes so you can't see that. I think I have a good idea of what I need to do, so I'm just gonna go and make those changes now. So as you can see here, um, this is the old one, this is the new one. All I've done is kind of space it out a little bit more. This means that when I print, I can print a more perfect line down the edge. Um, so the dogs won't be overlapping and it will just be um, a pink edge, which hopefully will work out great. Um, so I'm gonna give that a go now. Okay, so this attempt has come out so much better. Um, and it works a lot better too and I think on the edge it's gonna look great as well I'm just gonna leave it on here for a couple of minutes because it's really really hot and I don't want to burn myself taking it off um, But yeah ah, Little dog socks. They're so cute. I'm off out now um, But I'm going to make the other one tomorrow. Um, I'm so happy with how this has come out um, so much better than I thought it would usually I make so many mistakes when it's my first time sublimating something um, but I'm really happy with these, um, especially as it's just my second attempt. Um, I think I've pretty much figured it out, which is good because I wasn't so sure this morning when I started. But I will see you guys later. So, hey guys, good morning. So I have just done the other sock. Um, and I'm gonna take it off and have a look at it. Okay, so this is the sock I just finished. And then here's the one I did the other day. I'm super happy with these. I think they're super cute. Um, just got to finish making my TikTok with them and then I guess I'm gonna post them on my website. I do have a few other cute ideas I want to do for these. Um, the one thing I'm a little bit worried is that I'm gonna be releasing them at the wrong time because of Christmas. So I think for now, I might do two designs and put them on TikTok and see how they go, see if they're popular, see if anyone buys them. And then after Christmas, I might make some more designs. Um, and maybe then do a few more TikToks trying to push these as well, then as well. I'm not entirely sure, because I kind of just really want to get them out at the, right at the moment, just, you know, because I'm really excited with them and I think they're super cute. I just don't know if Christmas is the right time to be releasing a whole big collection of socks. So I think I'll probably do these on one other. Um, but yeah, they're so cute. I love them. Thank you. 
So I have posted to TikTok, now I just wanna take some photos of the socks and post them on my website. Um, I'm really excited about doing these, it's the first time I've done socks and I think they're really cool, kind of unique product, especially when you can customize them. Um, so I hope you guys like them too. Um, if you want to get a pair of my socks, I have linked them down below in the bio, uh, well my shop's linked, so you can check out all my products, including my socks. Um, so I think once I've edited these photos, there's another pair of socks I want to design like I said and then I'm probably gonna stop with the socks till after Christmas um, just because you know I don't want to release too many products before Christmas um, but I also want to do a little experiment this is just gonna be for me um, I'm still going to post it on TikTok in case other people want to buy them as well um, but I am going to be printing on some bags so these are different bags to like what I normally print on they're not tote bags I'll just get one and show you so this is what I am talking about I'm gonna open it up it's kind of dusty I haven't touched it in a while um, but as you can see, it's a little um, bag. It's kind of like a little side bag thing. Um, it's pretty good quality actually. Um, but basically you can print anything on this panel here. So that is what I am planning to do. I want to do a black and white cow print. Um, I've actually got a pink and white phone case um, cow print, but because this bag is black, I think it makes more sense to also do the cow print in black. So it's nothing, you know, too over the top. Um, I just thought it'd be kind of a good idea to give this a test and see whether or not I want to do more bags and print other things on them. Um, but yeah, I'm just gonna go and give this a go and see if I like it and if I can do it properly. This is my only bag, so this is my only attempt. If it goes wrong, I haven't got any more to test on and probably won't do until the new year because I'm pretty sure um, my blank supplier um, is going to be shut over Christmas and the new year. So fingers crossed, this will turn out great. This was actually just a practice phone case I designed. Um, I did make this pink in the end instead of purple, but I'm actually just going to be stealing the cow print from it. Um, I think, yeah. I'm gonna be stealing the cow print from it um, and just moving it over onto this A4 sheet. This is what I'm gonna use for my socks um, and the bag. Obviously I have to adapt them a little bit for the socks and bag, um, but I'm gonna do the bag first and then alter it as I see fit. Um, so obviously I want to make this completely black. There you go. All right, so I'm just gonna go in, add some more cow prints to it now um, and fix the ones on the edges so it's all nice and smooth. Okay, so this is the print I'm going to use for the bag. And then I think what I'm gonna have to do is get kind of like a template of how I made the other socks with my dogs on um, and kind of fit it around that to make sure the print looks really good on the socks.
I'm loving these. These are just really cute and fun. It's quite a simple design, um, but cow prints are really popular at the moment. So I thought I'd make some little socks from them um, and these will go really well with my black and white fake Primark vans. So I'm just gonna be printing the exact same cow print design onto this bag. Um, I'm kind of expecting it not to work as this is my first time doing it, but fingers crossed it will. Um, I'm kind of excited to see how it looks. Um, and I'm also going to be making a little TikTok out of this too. Um, I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how I'm gonna keep this flat and down, but uh, hopefully I will be able to figure it out. Um, the little flappy bit actually separates from the bag, which is great as that will make it so much easier to uh, print on. Okay, that's actually worked so well. I'm really, really happy with that. Let's see what it looks like when it's properly on. Look at that, my own little bag. I'm really surprised that this came out so well. It has uh, a, an adjustable strap, it has these pockets inside, and inside there's like a little, there's two little inside pockets there. You probably can't see because it's black, but they are there. Oh, it's worked out way better than I ever thought it could. So I'm going to go and edit some photos of the cow bag and the cow socks um, and upload them to my website. So with this bag, I am going to be putting it up for pre-order because of Christmas, or I might just wait until after Christmas to put it up. Actually, I think I'll probably do that. Um, but I'm going to put it on TikTok now and kind of see how popular it is. If I feel like I need to put it up for pre-order immediately, I will. Um, but I kind of just want to test the waters and see if these bags will be popular because um, I don't really want to order any more as they are fairly expensive um, to print on um, if no one's interested in them. So that's kind of how I want to play it. Um, but we will see how it goes. Today I thought I would just start the day by doing some painting in my sketchbook. I really haven't touched my sketchbook much this year. I've been working on this sketchbook for way too long. I think I started it at the end of 2018. So it's been way too long for working on this one sketchbook. I think the main issue has been that I got my iPad um, and I've been doing a lot of digital work because it is easier um, because you don't have to, you know, faff around with cleaning up equipment and getting paints out, all that kind of thing. Um, and I do like how digital art looks, um, but I definitely need to go back into drawing more into my sketchbook. I'm actually very, very close to finishing this sketchbook. I've probably got about five or six pages left. Um, I know I've previous videos I've mentioned that I have been trained to work on kind of filling up every single page. There are pages that are pretty much completely blank, but I'm probably not gonna go back and fill them. I will keep them as they are. And then I'll just start a new sketchbook because I think it's getting to the point where I do need to start a new one just so I kind of get into the swing of using it more um, because I'm kind of feeling a bit less attached to the sketchbook now. So I don't really, feel the need to and want to draw in it that often so I think I kind of just need to finish it um, and get a new one. I'm really happy with the sketchbook I've got. It's a mixed media Strathmore sketchbook and I love it so much so I'm definitely going to get one of those again. I have no problem with the sketchbook, it's just I haven't been doing as much sketchbook work as I would have liked um, and I've been working on it for way too long, almost two years now I think. Yeah, I started it in November. I don't know if you can see that, but it says November 2018. So uh, we're nearly in 2021. 20, it's been way too long, way too long. So I want to get this finished. Um, I finished my last sketchbook, I think in about six months. So this has taken me a long time, but I didn't have my iPad then, so maybe that's why. Um, but yeah, so I'm going to be using Tanner Acryl gouache for this painting. So let's go and get started.
I've just finished painting the little uh, dog. I was kind of going for this kind of style, this little orange cat. You will get this cat if you order from my shop. I have it on the little um, thank you note. But I was kind of trying to kind of do a little style like that as I really like how the cat's painted. I think it kind of looks like kind of vintagey, and I do like it. So I kind of tried to do it again with this dog. Um, I don't think I like it quite as much. I'm still happy with it, but it just not as much as the cat which is kind of unfortunate but you know a sketchbook is just for experimenting and trying things out so <laughs> this week i haven't felt like doing much work i haven't felt like there's been much i needed needed to do like i have nothing to work towards um i am working on my children's book posey the postie behind the scenes um i don't want to show too much of that on camera because obviously i do want people to buy the book so I don't want to spoil it, but I am working on that and that's what I hope to work on a little bit more um, and maybe show a few more sneak peeks um, over on my YouTube channel, you know, in these vlogs. Um, but for now, yeah, I haven't shown much of it, but um, I don't know. I think I'm just kind of ready for Christmas, ready for a bit of a break, but I am going to end this video here. It has kind of been a very short video, um, but I just haven't been doing that much stuff this week and I'm doing stuff for Christmas tomorrow with Ryan. So, you know, I'm missing a whole day of work because of that. Um, but I am now monetized, so I want to thank you guys so much for that. I can't believe it. Um, I'm not sure how much money I will make from it because I'm still a very much uh, small channel, but you know, every little bit does help. Um, and thank you so much for watching my content, subscribing to me and liking, commenting on all my stuff. Um, because it really does help me out um, and you know hopefully one day I'll be able to do this completely full time um, but you know we will see in the future um, but if you enjoy this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell which is down below if you want to be notified for when I next upload as it really does help me um, and I can see and my analytics that a lot of my watches aren't necessarily subscribed to me so make sure you are and I think around 16% of you guys um, have pressed the notification bell so um, if you want to join them make sure you do press the bell um, as that helps out my channel too and don't forget to check out my online shop all my links are down below as well for my instagram facebook and all of that i'm kind of rambling on here a bit but thank you again and i'll see you next time i'm not sure when that will be because of christmas but i will post my videos as soon as i'll be able to and i'll update you guys on all my social medias but Thank you <laughs> again, again, um, and I will see you next time. Bye.